Hi, I'm Laura Messer. I write about MLB at farnorthsider.com. I'm coming to you today from my woman cave in Toronto. So first of all, I'd like to congratulate Albert Pujols, the former enemy of Cubs Nation, on his two hits last night, which allowed him to pass Adrian Beltre on the MLB career hits leaderboard and become the hits leader among players who were born outside the United States. Congratulations, Albert. Now I'd like to talk to you today about what it's been like to watch the Cubs this season. It's been brutal. Hey, cat. So, what do I mean by that? They've been absolutely fucking terrible on the road. They haven't won a road series since May at Nationals Park. So it's been nearly three fucking months since they've won a road series. Somehow, they're still in first place. I don't know. I don't know why. It's because everybody else behind them has been really fucking terrible on the road, too. Now, you can even break down this disparity in performance individually. Kyle Hendricks has an ERA of under two on the, at home. His ERA on the road is over five. Javi Baez, OPS nearly a thousand at home. On the road, 750. Not that I'm saying it's these two guys' fault completely. The whole team seems to forget how to score runs in, on the road. So it's not just Hendricks and Bias's fault. It's everybody's fault. The team's weaknesses have been exposed. They don't have the same depth that they had when they won the World Series. That, that's definitely been shored up a little bit by acquiring Tony Kemp and Nicholas Castellanos. Hopefully Ben Zobris is able to come back for the end of the year. But there's some dead weight. Addison Russell at least has gone back down to Iowa since he admitted to being a complete fucking dumbass to ESPN Jesse Rogers. Hopefully he's done. Albert Almora, I don't know why he stayed on the major league roster all year. He really shouldn't have been there. But it's really no point to send him back down to Iowa just for two weeks. So, what happens in the future? A lot of people, every time the Cubs lose on the road, they're just like, Cubs should have sold. Trade Chris Bryant. Gotta move on. That's a seriously dumb fucking idea. Chris Bryant is an elite player. You're not going to get anybody back in return who's going to be as good as Chris Bryant. And it's probably not even going to help you next year unless the front office insists on getting major league players in return. And as I said, whoever you get in return, it's not going to be anybody like Chris Bryant. So, just fucking stop already. What they need to do is build around their core players. So by that I mean Javi Baez, Wilson Contreras, Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, Kyle Hendricks. Hendricks has been extended. Well, what about what about the other guys? Rizzo had been given an extension when he was several years younger, but you could extend him again. And extend extend Baez, extend Bryant, extend Contreras. These are guys you need. And then you can retool, clear out the dead fucking weight. By that I mean guys who should not have been on the major league roster. So, Addison Russell, bye-bye. Albert Almora, bye-bye. Get rid of all these guys who are not performing up to what, what the expectations were. There are just too many fucking pet projects that Theo has that are being allowed to stick around because... Because Theo has a big giant fucking ego and can't admit he was wrong about people. So, th need to move on from these guys. I really, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's not going to get any better until the Cubs learn what they need to build on and what they need to clear out.